Hey guys, it's Esther, and I'm on day 13 on the Ultimate Reset, and it's hard to believe that it's almost a full two weeks. Um, if, um, week two is almost over, and I'll be heading into week three, which I believe is Reclaim. i got to double check on the name of that. But it's basically going to be the week that I stop taking the detox because that will be finished and um, start taking um, the flora, the healthy bacteria, putting that back into my body. Because essentially, you know, it's all been scrubbed out. All the junk toxins have been flushed out. So now it's time to put back into your body that good bacteria for your gut, for your digestion digestive <laughs> digestion digestive system if I can say it correctly um, and I probably will finish because I goofed remember with my detox so I'm gonna finish that out so my week two will not technically start for a few more days I think it's Thursdays when my detox will end but technically Wednesday would have been the start of my week two but I really want to finish out the detox packets and I'll just delay going into week three. So um, today I had uh, blueberries, banana. Um, I haven't eaten a lot of banana. I know banana can be a little higher on the glycemic index. It can be a little, um, have more sugar in it. So um, bananas are great. They're full of potassium, but I don't think they're the best fruit to eat every single day because of um, how they're higher on the glycemic index. So, but I did have one today and I had blueberries and what else did I have? I had honeydew and I think I had my kiwi. Uh, I really like kiwi. Um, and then uh, for lunch, I had a microgreen salad and I actually had my leftover roasted beets that I made last night. I made a lot of them. Uh, that, that dinner, by the way, guys, the one that I showed you yesterday, it was the uh, Mediterranean roast beets over coconut collard greens over a bed of rice. Um, the recipe actually calls for millet, which I still would really like to, to try. I'm going to see if I can eat that in week three. I think I can, so I'm going to have to buy some. I bought some and lost it somehow, um, but try that out. And that recipe was so good. That was probably one of the best recipes I've had on the Ultimate Reset. Uh, I don't know if it's just because I was really hungry or what, but just the flavors were just so good. Um, so that's definitely one of my favorites. Uh, super easy to make. It um, takes a while to make. It's not a, a while in the kitchen, but in terms of cooking time, um, those beets took about 45 minutes in the oven to cook. So... Um, and so I had the leftover beets in my salad today. It was really good. And for dinner, I had pinto beans and rice, uh, some steamed broccoli, and a little bit of steamed carrots. My stomach's been a little off today. I noticed that at lunch. Um, I just haven't felt very hungry. Um, not really necessarily sick to my stomach, but not really sure um, why. Uh, but I haven't really felt super hungry. I did eat, drink the vegan uh, Shakeology and my stomach was fine. Uh, I was eating dinner and I just didn't feel like eating all of it tonight. So, which that's okay too. Um, we all have off days, but, um, but I had a good day today. I um, was thinking about when I end the ultimate reset, you know, where I'm going to go after this. And it's really got me thinking because something a little bit about myself is I, um, I've always struggled with my relationship with food. I gained a lot of weight in college. Um, I definitely gained the freshman 15. I gained the sophomore 15. The junior 10, 15. <laughs> and I gained weight every single year in college. And it's really hard for me to really talk about because it's, you know, when I really look back on it, it's, it was one of those times in my life where I knew I was gaining weight. I knew that I didn't really like the way that I felt, but there was so much going on around me. Uh, I was really stressed out and just handled it very, very poorly. And 
it just sheds light on the fact that, you know, as women, when we have babies and the weight kind of creeps up on us, you know, um, sometimes it can feel like, wow, you look in the mirror and it, you know, you just don't really recognize the person necessarily um, in the mirror and you're not really happy with that person either. And you just kind of let things go for so long. Um, so I've been through that really honestly two times in my life. I did, I went through that whole cycle again when I had children. And when I was in college, you know, a lot of that was due to stress, things like that. Gaining weight um, was due to that. Uh, just dealing with a lot of stuff um, emotionally, um, all of that kind of stuff. And my senior year, I remember stepping on the scale at Curves. My family, my mom and my sisters and I, we all were going to Curves. It's when Curves was just kind of the thing. Um, and there was a location at the college that I was going to as well. So I remember stepping on the scale there and it read just under 200 pounds. And it wasn't shocking to me necessarily because I kind of had some idea. But at the same time, it was like that realization of the fact that I was almost at 200 and I'd never been that. Um, I gained about 50 pounds, at least 50 pounds. I honestly don't know really what I weighed going into my uh, freshman year in college, but I gained at least 50 pounds. And I, my senior year, my second semester is when I really started getting things under control. I started going to the recreation center, which is where the, the gym was that you could use for students. And I, I went to Curves, um, I started watching what I eat more, and I started losing some weight, you know, it was tough, but I, that was like the beginning. Um, and by the end of that year, I had lost about 40 pounds, I believe, I kept on with my journey. But the reason why I'm sharing this in this video is because I have been through my seasons, you know, of losing weight and gaining weight and losing weight and gaining weight. And it's not fun, you know, and I, I know what that's like. I know what it's like to be overweight, to be so uncomfortable in your skin. Um, and just to kind of really go through the roller coaster of that, of, you know, starting to want to make a change and you're on a program and you're eating healthy and you're losing some weight and then for whatever reason you stop and it gets too hard or you're just having a really hard time and so where I'm at right now is I don't want to go back I don't want to go back to that when I did the ultimate reset last year I kind of went back a little bit not really gained a whole lot of weight but now it's really um seasons have changed and it's really, you know, the way that I feel when I eat foods um, has an impact on my day and my mood and things like that. And I don't want to go back to that person that feels miserable because I've been there so many times. So it's really gotten me a lot. It's really got me thinking a lot about post reset after I'm done and over with this because I do like the meals. I do like the way that I feel. I really like what I'm doing for my body because I know it's making a difference now and it's going to make a difference tremendously long term. And I want to be able to incorporate this into my lifestyle, into my kid's lifestyle. And hopefully my husband, if he wants to get on board. Um, but before this video goes too much longer, I'm going to share a little bit more about that this week, about my plans for post reset and just some of the things I've been thinking about. But I just want to be real with you guys and just know that, you know, none of this is necessarily easy for me, but it's gotten to that point where I made the decision and I um, am staying motivated and encouraged um, to keep going. So I encourage you to stay motivated and encouraged and know that you can change your life. You can make a difference. You can lose that weight. You can get healthier no matter what your age is, no matter what your fitness level is. It's never too late to start. It's never too late. So I will check in with you guys tomorrow on day 14. Bye.